A terma Latin for swarm, squadron, plural terme was a cavalry unit in the Roman army of the Republic and Empire. In the Byzantine Empire, it became applied to the larger, regiment-sized military administrative divisions of a tema. The word is often translated as squadron, but so is the term ala, a unit that was made up of several terme. Roman army Republic In the 3rd and 2nd centuries BC, the time of the Punic Wars and Rome's expansion into Spain and Greece, the core of the Roman army was formed by citizens, augmented by contingents from Rome's allies socii. The organization of the Roman legion of the period is described by the Greek historian Polybius cf. the so-called Polybian army, who writes that each 4,200-strong infantry legion was accompanied by 300 citizen cavalry equites. This contingent was divided into ten termae. According to Polybius, the squadron members would elect as their officers three decuriones, leaders of ten men, of whom the first to be chosen would act as the squadron's commander and the other two as his deputies. As in earlier times, these men were drawn from among the 18 centuriae of the equestrian order, the wealthiest classes of the Roman people, who could afford to provide for the horse and its equipment themselves. Empire With the reorganization of the army under Emperor Augustus R. 27 BC to 14 AD and his successors, the terma became the basic sub-unit of the cavalry, the rough equivalent of the infantry centuria, both in the auxiliaries, who formed the bulk of the Roman cavalry, and in the legionary cavalry detachments. The auxiliary cohors equitata was a mixed unit combining infantry and cavalry, and existed in two types, the cohors equitata quingenaria, with an infantry cohort of 480 men and four terme of cavalry, and the reinforced cohors equitata miliaria, with 800 infantry and eight terme. Likewise, the purely cavalry allay contained either 16 or 24 terme alla miliaria. Individual terme of camel riders dromedary also appear among cohorts equitatae in the Middle East, and Emperor Trajan R. 98 established the first all-camel cavalry unit, the Alla I Ulpia Dromedariorum Palmyronorum. The terma was still commanded by a decurio, aided by two subaltern principales under officers, a sesquiplicarius soldier with one and a half times pay and a duplicarius soldier with double pay, as well as a signifer or vexillarius a standard bearer, cf. Vexillum. These ranks corresponded respectively with the infantry's tesserarius officer of the watch, optio, and signifer. The exact size of the terma under the principate, however, is unclear. Thirty men was the norm in the republican army and apparently in the cohorts equitatae, but not for the allay. The diminutionibus castrorum, for instance, records that a cohors equitata miliaria numbered exactly 240 troopers, i.e. 30 men per terma, but also gives the number of horses for the alla miliaria, composed of 24 termae, at 1,000. If one subtracts the extra horses of the officers two for a decurio, one for each of the two subaltern under officers, one is left with 832 horses, which does not divide evenly with 24. At the same time, Arian explicitly says that the Alla Quingenaria counted 512 men, suggesting a size of 32 men for each terma. As for the legions, during the Principate, each had a cavalry contingent organized in four termae. A legionary terma was led by a centurion, assisted by an optio and a vexillarius as senior principales. Each of them led a file of ten troopers, for a grand total of 132 horsemen in each legion. Their status was distinctly inferior to that of the legionary infantry. The centurions and principales of the legionary terme were classed as supernumerary, and although their men were included in the legionary cohort lists, they camped separately from them. In the late Roman army, the terma and its structure were retained, with changes in titulature only. The terma was still headed by a decurio, who also led the first ten strong file, while the other two files were led by subaltern cataphractari, in essence, the successors of the early empire's duplicari and sesquiplicari. Traces of this structure also apparently survived in the 6th century East Roman army. In the late 6th century Strategicon of Maurice, the cavalry files are led by a decarchos, Greek, leader of ten.
Topic: <inaudible> Byzantine Empire. In the 7th century, as a result of the crisis caused by the early Muslim conquests, the Byzantine military and administrative system was reformed, the old late Roman division between military and civil administration was abandoned, and the remains of the East Roman armies' field armies were settled in great districts, the Themata, that were named after them. The term terma, in its Greek transcription terma, terma, or terma reappears at that time as the major subdivision of a tema. The army of each tema except for the optimatoi was divided into two to four torme, and each terma further into a number of moirai moirai or drungoi, drungoi which in turn were composed of several banda singular, bandon, bandon from Latin, bandum, banner. This division was carried through to the territorial administration of each tema, torme and banda but not the moirai, drungoi were identified with clearly defined districts which served as their garrison and recruitment areas. In his Taktika, Emperor Leo VI the Wise R. 886 presents an idealized tema as consisting of three torme, each divided into three drungoi, etc. This picture, however, is misleading, as the sources do not support any degree of uniformity in size or number of subdivisions in the different themata, nor indeed an exact correspondence of the territorial with the tactical divisions. Depending on the tactical exigencies, smaller administrative torme could be joined together on campaign and larger ones broken up. Since the elementary unit, the bandon, could itself number between 200 and 400 men, the terma too could reach up to 6,000 men, although 2-5,000 seems to have been the norm between the 7th and early 10th centuries. Each terma was usually headed by a tormarches, tormarches commander of a terma. In some cases, however, an ek prosopo, a temporary representative of the governing strategos of each tema, could be appointed instead. The title first appears in circa 626, when a certain George was Tormarches of the Armeniac theme. The Tormarches was usually based in a fortress town. Aside from his military responsibilities, he exercised fiscal and judicial duties in the area under his control. In the lists of offices and seals, Tormarchi usually hold the ranks of Spathara candidatos, Spatharios or candidatos. In function and rank, the Tormarches corresponded with the Topotirites of the professional imperial Tagmata regiments. The Tormarchi were paid according to the importance of their tema. Those of the more prestigious Anatolian themes received 216 gold nomismata annually, while those of the European themes received 144 nomismata, the same amount paid to the Drongaroioi and the other senior officers of the tema. In some sources, the earlier term Mararches, commander of Ameros, division which occupied a similar hierarchical position in the 6th-7th centuries, is used interchangeably with tormarches. In the 9th-10th centuries, it is often found in the variant form mariarchs. mariarchs. It has, however, also been suggested by scholars like J. B. Barry and John Halden that the latter was a distinct post, held by the tormarches attached to the governing strategos of each tema and residing at the thematic capital. In the mid-10th century, the average size of most units fell. In the case of the terma, it dropped from 2 minus 3,000 men to 1,000 men and less, in essence to the level of the earlier drongos, although larger torme are still recorded. It is probably no coincidence that the term drongos disappears from use at around that time. Consequently, the terma was divided directly into five to seven banda, each of 50 to 100 cavalry or 200 to 400 infantry. The term terma itself fell gradually into disuse in the 11th century, but survived at least until the end of the 12th century as an administrative term. Tormarchi are still attested in the first half of the 11th century, but the title seems to have fallen out of use thereafter. <laughs> 